I'm Sean Hack, co-department head of the Automotive Collision Repair and Restoration Program here at Pennsylvania College of Technology. The first thing we, we notice when you come into this facility, this training space, is its sheer size. I think that's what catches everyone's attention. And in application, that allows us plenty of space to train uh, a variety of different skill sets here. It really allows the students that hands-on opportunity. Plenty of workspaces, plenty of vehicles, uh, redundancies in the equipment. So if we need one, we've got six. Our training vehicles that we use in the Collision Lab, they come from a variety of sources. We are fortunate to have nationwide insurance that are able to donate cars, uh, put on loan for us, so we can keep a uh, constant stream of fresh vehicles here for the students to train on. We're dealing with vehicles that are no older than 2014. This is critical, allowing us to experience the latest technology out in the automotive industry. So we have different manufacturers represented, and then of course we have Honda. We are one of five Honda-packed collision repair training programs in the country. They donate vehicles to our program for us to train on. Well, it's a rewarding field because you get to experience a lot of different things, a lot of different scenarios, it never gets boring. The people that embrace collision repair, they enjoy that hands-on experience, being able to step back at the end of the day and say, yes, I took part in creating that. Our program is designed to accommodate a student of any different skill set. So we have students that come in here that may be second generation, their families own the collision repair facility. We have other students that come in with absolutely no experience whatsoever. In the first semester, all students are started out in a, a basic foundation class. As we move through the program and then into the second year, we'll elaborate on those foundation skills, introducing live repair scenarios and ultimately toward the end, moving it into scenarios that mimic a actual collision repair facility. The skill gap is definitely visible in the collision repair industry. All of these shops need technicians. Uh, we hear it everywhere we go, and the needs that the shops are looking for are changing rapidly. The science, the technology, and everything that's in play right now requires a very vast skill set out of our students. You need to be a welder. You need to understand structure and engineering, be able to measure accurately. We have the artistic element of understanding color theory and how to get a color match and what does it take to make it match. We have to know brakes, we have to know alignment, we have to know HVAC air conditioning. So we train on all those aspects also. We also go through a, a wide gamut of refinishing. We train with both PPG and Exalta coatings and we have a variety of different environments to spray in. Each student gets a lot of hands-on time within the spray booths. We're not waiting for our, our time to shine in the spray booths. Penn College offers the latest, greatest technology and equipment, so if there's something out there, it's recommended by our advisory board. If industry is recognizing it, we're on top of it. Here at Penn College, you would leave as a graduate with your ASE Student Master Certification, along with ICAR certification, and specifically the ICAR Honda Pact certification through the Honda OEM program. Another unique thing with Penn College is the fact that we are able to provide a variety of different has through our training programs. Currently we offer a collision repair certificate, a collision repair associate's degree, and then students either choose to go into an additional two-year baccalaureate program for automotive business management or go into a two-semester automotive restoration certificate program. Hello, my name is Roy Klinger. I am the co-department head for collision repair technology and automotive restoration. I teach the uh, Automotive Restoration Certificate. Automotive Restoration is a unique program that allows a student to be able to take the technologies of today and implement them into a car of significance which can be preserved for many years to come. You almost can't put a price on preserving history. One of the best things I think about the Automotive Restoration Certificate is the fact that a student is able to come out very well-rounded and have a good deep setting of skill sets, not only in automotive metal shaping or painting and or mechanical skills, but it, it really gives a very in-depth look at basically the birth of the automobile all the way through the innovations that we deal with today. When you're coming into this certificate, You'll start with some basic mechanical processes. You can take a vehicle that has been uh, what we call sitting or it's been um, stored for a number of years 
You'll learn the processes and what it takes to be able to prepare that engine and drive line and brakes and fuel system and electrical system so that it can be functional again. And then you also learn the processes of what the proper way to be able to store a vehicle over a significant amount of time. We start with a foundation in the collision repair where a student is able to learn how to use a basic dent repair using a hammer and dolly. When they're able to take that, that foundation, they're able to expand it and they're able to learn how to use an English wheel. They learn a shrinking and stretching method. They also learn die stamping methods for sheet metal panels. This is not taught in virtually any school within the United States. We're very fortunate that we have partnerships with museums. With these partnerships, we're able to allow our students to work on vehicles which are considered significant within history. We're also able to give training on very specific skill sets that necessarily wouldn't be able to be taught without having those resources. We've represented vehicles for the Swigert Auto Museum at the Amelia Island Concour Show. Our students were able to represent at Pebble Beach for the 2018 Pebble Beach Concourse. So our students have had an exceptional opportunity to be able to see some of the most elegant and significant cars on show fields around the country. There is a, a wide range of, of job opportunities. Um, everything from antique automobile appraisal, collector car insurance agencies, museums of course, and private collections. Many private collections need a steward to be able to oversee and maintain their vehicle collections. So you never quite know where the road may take you because there are so many different opportunities within the automotive restoration field and, and extending entities.